Hey guys, how are you doing today and welcome back to my channel. I thought we'd try something a bit different for this video and put a voiceover in because you guys have been requesting this for a very long time. As you probably know, KVK is XRX's favourite event. So like, we don't really care about Baron, we don't care about Emperor, we don't really care about Chalice, just KVK. And specifically, uh, this Hunter's KVK, so four-way event because four kingdoms fighting each other gives a lot of solo targets. And our players spend days getting ready for this event by training a lot of troops and buying multiple banks to make sure everyone has enough resources to heal. However, scoring a lot of points in KVK is usually dependent on migrating to a fresh active kingdom that will get matched with other fresh active kingdoms, right? So last week, our family migrated to Kingdom 660 to try and give us the best chance of scoring enough points to take first place in the world again like we did last time. But despite this, as you can see, we kind of got fucked over by the matchup because we're against Kingdoms 5 and 11, which are obviously dead, and Kingdom 657, which we just migrated out of because LH killed it. So as soon as we saw the matchup, we knew that there kind of wasn't any hope of being able to score enough points to take first again uh, but we decided to make the best of the bad situation and give it everything we had anyway I knew there weren't going to be many solo targets so at the start I was just trying to get points by porting next to people trying to hit tiles or I feel like porting next to the tiles they're trying to hit and sending a march with leader to the tile to try and catch their hopefully leaderless march, get some easy points. But unfortunately this guy sees what I'm trying to do and recalls really quickly. This next guy must not be paying attention because he can't recall fast enough. Um, sadly, it's just a leaderless T2 march, so not many points there. Don't worry guys, this video isn't going to be all tile hitting, we'll get into some absolutely massive solo targets in a few minutes. I unlocked three new battalion slots on the uh, a new gear research tree for the new account, and that's really useful because I have my regular battalions, where uh, on a 375k march I'd send 100k T2, because T4 are expensive to replace. And on the new battalion slots, I can send like almost a full T4 march. So I don't have to keep constantly adjusting the amount of T4 I want to send. So that's really useful. I actually got lucky with this guy because he was sending almost full T4 marches to the tiles. Unfortunately, I screwed the timing up, and instead of hitting just before his march, which would have meant his march was attacking my march, and he'd have dead troops, I hit right after, so he only had wounded, but there's still a lot of points there. As soon as I see the report, I can see this guy's formation, so I know what phalanx he's defending in, and because this guy is in solo range, he could be potentially a good target, but he randoms away immediately because he's probably thinking the same thing. I believe that this guy being soloed right here started at about 170 million might. So he's already dropped 40 mil from solos, which is a lot at that size. So I'm gonna try and jump in and see if I can get some easy kills. And I arrive just in time to catch this guy's leader. Then I see on global chat that a um, 235 mil player's cause has been posted. Uh, take a quick look at their gear and hero and it's pretty shit. So it looks like an easy target and I jump into solo. The first hit counters him and I kill about 500k troops. I can see from the report that he's in 
infantry phalanx and without having to look at the detailed report I can guess that probably only has range and cavalry left so I send a quick rain solo to try and mop up the rest of the troops. Unfortunately it leaves like 30k left so I've got to send uh, another leaderless march to try and get the leader. Interestingly here this player had uh, 20 seconds to shelter their leader and they were online the whole time but for some reason they didn't. I have no idea why they did that. Probably panicked. So I'm just scrolling around the map looking for targets and then I see a tracker rally get set on a 263mm SNC player. A lot of people don't like soloing players around this mic uh, because there's always a chance it could be a rally trap. But in my experience, there are very few rally traps at this size. And more often than not, if they do capture your leader, you can just rally them to release it because they're in fury and can't migrate away. So I hit this guy and he smokes, which is better than being capped, I guess. Then I check the report and he's got fucking 4 million troops. And what's more is that he's in range wedge, so he countered me. I have absolutely no idea how I didn't get capped there. I go and check their comp uh, to decide what to hit with the next. I choose range, uh, but then he ports away. And as, as you remember, a tracker rally was set but the person who set it cancelled so they could jump into solo, which is a bit fucking annoying because they managed to get away. As luck would have it though, uh, one of our players finds him again a few minutes later and he's put his fire out at this point, but he seems to be sitting doing nothing. So another tracker only gets started and everyone jumps into solo. I'm trying to get a spot right next to the target, but as you can see, everyone else is porting in and pushing me back. So it takes me a few seconds till I can port in, but I get there just in time to grab the leader. So there you have it guys. Four million troops online, solo zeroed in literally seconds. And then one of my guildmates finds another 260 mil SNC target. So I'm gonna go solo that right now. Normally I would be a bit wary soloing players of this size, but because of the lack of targets, I don't really have many other options. I go in with Cav again because the majority of players seem to like defending an infantry phalanx. And I get another counter and it's a burn. Two of my guildmates have also come in to try and solo this guy. So I've got to try and get that range solo in as quickly as possible to take the leader. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All this content was only just literally in the first two hours of KVK. So there's still many more zeros to upload. And let me know if you want more voiceovers.